Hello, in this lesson, there are two videos on shifting theorems. In the first video, first shifting theorem and its applications are presented, whereas in the second video, second shifting theorem and its applications are discussed along with the proofs of these theorems. These shifting theorems are very useful while applying Laplace transform in solving the initial value problems and boundary value problems which arise in engineering applications in almost all the branches of engineering. Let us first see what are the learning objectives of first video. After going through this video, you will be able to find Laplace transform of a function which is multiplied by exponential function you can also find inverse of shifted function on S scale. That means if the function is shifted on S scale, inverse transform can be found by using first shifting theorem. We will see the statement of first shifting theorem. If Laplace transform of Ft is denoted by Fs, then Laplace transform of e raised to the power a t f t is given as f of s minus a. That means in the Laplace transform of f t, if we replace s by s minus a, we will get the Laplace transform of e raised to the power a t f t. If we want to find inverse Laplace transform of f of s minus a, then it will be given as e raised to the power a t into f t. The proof of this theorem is given at the end. First we will see how we can apply this statement to find Laplace transform of some simple functions of t which are multiplied by exponential functions. So let us see how we can find Laplace transform of e raised to the power 2t into sin 2t. Here, a is equal to 2 and ft is equal to sine of 2t. Therefore, fs is equal to Laplace transform of sine 2t which is equal to 2 upon s square plus 4. This we obtain from the table of Laplace transforms. From table of Laplace transform. And this table of Laplace transform is given in the resources and it is in the form of PDF. So you can use this table to find out Laplace transform of some complicated functions. So here we have got fs. Now if we replace this s by s minus a that means s minus 2 here then we can find Laplace transform of the desired function e raised to the power 2t into sine 2t. Therefore by applying First shifting theorem FST, we can find Laplace transform of e raised to the power 2t sin 2t as 2 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 4. So, this is the transformation of the given function. The same concept we can use to find out Laplace transform of e raised to the power a t into t raised to the power n. Here in place of a we have minus a and f t is equal to t raised to the power n. Therefore, fs 
from the table of Laplace transform is equal to Laplace transform of t raised to the power n which is equal to n factorial upon s raised to the power n plus 1. Now if we replace s by s plus a then we will get the Laplace transform of e raised to the power minus a t into t raised to the power n. So by first shifting theorem Laplace transform of e raised to the power minus a t into t raised to the power n is equal to factorial n upon s plus a raised to the power n plus 1. Now we can find Laplace inverse transform of 1 upon s minus 2 whole square by using first shifting theorem. Here f of s minus a is given as 1 upon s minus 2 whole square. So this implies f s is equal to 1 upon s square. Here a is equal to 2. So f t is equal to l inverse of f s means l inverse of 1 upon s square which is equal to t. Therefore Laplace inverse of this given function is equal to e raised to the power 2t into l inverse of 1 upon s square which is equal to t into e raised to the power 2t. l inverse of 1 upon s square is equal to t which we can find out from the table of Laplace transforms. So we have found inverse Laplace transform also by using first shifting theorem. Now these, they are here there are two functions. First is the function of t. Second one is the function of s. So for this function of t we can find Laplace transform by using first shifting theorem by the same method which we have applied in the above examples. Here we have to find inverse Laplace transform of this given function of s which can also be found very easily by applying first shifting theorem. Now we will see how we can prove the statement of first shifting theorem. In the first shifting theorem we have to find Laplace transform of e raised to the power a t into f t. So this is given as the integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power a t into f t d t multiplied by e raised to the power minus s t. This we get from the definition of Laplace transform and this integral can be written as integral from 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus s minus a into t f t d t which is equal to f of s minus a where f s is equal to Laplace transform of f t which in which is given by the integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus s t f t d t. Therefore if we replace s by 
S minus A, we will get the Laplace transform of this function e raised to the power a t f t. In the second video, we will see second shifting theorem and its applications also in solving some Laplace transform of functions of s. Thank you.